Okay, this is a quick demo on how to completely disassemble a Series 80 1911. Um, just real quick, if you're unsure if you've got a Series 80 or a Series 70, which are the two most common, um, it's pretty easy to tell. Let's get started and uh, we'll do a safety check first. Lock your slide back. Take a peek in. Make sure there is no round chambered. We've got no round chambered. We've got nothing in the magazine well, so we have a clear gun. While your slide is locked back, we'll flip it over and we're going to take a look right here. There's a little plunger. And you see that plunger going up and down. And that is actually the firing pin block. That's how we know that this gun is a Series 80. So we'll start with a field strip real quick. Um, this thing's got a full length guide rod, so ideally I should have a bushing wrench for this. Um, I do not have a bushing wrench with me, so I'm just going to have to make do. I'll push down. Um, this, this bushing has to rotate clockwise first. It, uh, if you rotate it the other way, if we rotate this way, it will not rotate far enough to clear and release this plug. So it has to be turned this way first. Make sure you keep whatever tool or a finger or something when this does get started. Um, keep something over this because if you just clear that bushing out of the way and there's nothing holding this plug in, it's going to go shooting. It could go shooting into your face, into your roof, into, your, into somebody standing around. So just make sure you keep something on that as you clear that bushing out of the way. It is under a lot of tension. So plugs out. Pull your spring out. Now this bushing has to be rotated back around to the other side and it will come out. And the reason it's got to be rotated like that, there's a little bump right here that has to come through this notch. And that's the only way it's going to come out. So once we've got our bushing cleared, next thing is to take safety off and we're going to line up this disconnect notch. We've got two notches. This is a, a notch for your slide lock and this is a disconnect notch. So we're just going to slide it back and line it up with a little bump on the slide lock right here. And if we push it over, there's a bump right above your uh, trigger. And we're going to push on that bump at the same time this is lined up, and that disconnect will pull straight out. Your slide should slide clear of the frame now. You're left with your slide. We'll pull the guide rod out. Drop the link on the barrel, and we'll pull the barrel clear. Now we're left with the slide. So what we've got here, we see that plunger again, and you see your firing pin. Normally in a Series 70, you would just push your firing pin down and pull down on this stop to remove it. Um, with that firing pin block in, it will not let you push that firing pin any farther than that. You can see it's barely going in. And if I push in on this plunger, now you can see I can really push that firing pin a lot further in. So what we're going to do is push that firing pin way in, let off the plunger, and then that firing pin block is going to actually retain that firing pin back there for us. So that's kind of one of the neat sides, I guess, of the Series 80 as far as cleaning and takedown. We'll push the stop out next. So our firing pin stops out. Now we're going to need to put a finger here because this firing pin is going to come shooting out as we release it with this plunger. And as I push down on the plunger, you'll see it. There it is. Now it's still at this point is being retained. So in order to avoid doing damage to your spring, you're going to have to push down on that plunger one more time to be able to pull that out and make sure your spring gets out. Sometimes those springs have hung up in there. I've seen that. Um, the next thing is going to be to pull this plunger out. And the easy way to do it is just to push on this extractor a little bit. So um, once we push on the top part of this extractor, you're going to see this plunger pop up. There it goes. So we know that the extractor has released it. We'll dump it out if it wants to cooperate here. And you've got two little parts. And the first time you uh, take this out, it may you may want to cover it up. I didn't cover it because I wanted you to see it pop out. But you may want to cover it up as you push on that extractor so it doesn't go flying out because it's got this little spring here. And if that spring does get loose on you and you don't have a a real clear floor and an easy place to find it, you're going to be hunting a long time or you're going to be going to the gun shop to buy another one. I had to find one on the floor once and it wasn't fun. So anyway, once we get that firing pin block out, that little plunger out, and these are these are the two 
Series 80 parts in the slide. This is the only difference from the 70 and the 80 is these two little parts right here. Once we get that out, we can push this, this extractor out. Sometimes these can be difficult to push out. It just depends how clean the gun is. This gun was recently cleaned, so this one should pop out fairly easily, and it did. So there's our extractor, and that's it for the slide. Slide's completely clean, cleared out, disassembled. Now we'll move along to the frame. Um, the first step for the frame is going to be remove this safety. If you have an ambidextrous safety, you've got this platform on both sides here. And all you're going to do is grab onto this thumb safety and you're going to work it up and down. And at the same time, you're going to grab the right side of the ambi safety and you're going to wiggle up and down as you're pulling out and away from the frame. And it should come loose. It'll take a little bit of wiggling, but it should come loose and it should work out. And once you get the right side out, same thing, wiggling and pulling out with the left side and it will come clear. I don't have one. So I'm just going to push on this bump here with my finger. And at the same time, I'm going to work the safety up and down. And you're going to see that safety start to work away from the frame as I click it up and down. Just like that. So now we're clear. We can pull this out. And you'll see this kind of fall out. Um, some people are, will probably say, okay, why doesn't he take that out? The way mine is set, it, uh, or the way this grip safety is set up, it's got a little flange on the bottom of it that keeps it in until we pull the mainspring housing. So it's just going to kind of sit there and dangle for, for a few minutes. Um, when you do pull that safety out, be aware of this little plunger right here. This can go shooting out. Um, it's never happened to me, but that doesn't mean it doesn't happen. And you can push on this side right here and give it a little pull. Don't pull too hard and damage your spring. But that's your slide stop, slide stop plunger and safety plunger. We'll take that out. Okay, next step is going to be to remove the grips since I'm going to be bang it on and on a block. These are pretty grips and I don't want to damage them. So Okay, we've got the grips removed. Um, the next step for us is going to be take the pressure off this mainspring housing so that we can remove the pin. So we're going to uncock this hammer. What you don't want to do is just squeeze the trigger and let your hammer come up and slam into the frame. You can damage the frame, you can crack it, bend it, um, you can bend your hammer. You can do a multitude of different things that you do not want to do to your gun. So we'll hold on to that hammer and very carefully release the pressure. I'll take a soft little wooden block here and a 332nds punch. There are two sides to this pin. One of them is concave, has a little indentation in it, and the other side is convex and it pops out. You always want to push on the concave side. So 332nds punch, and I'll set it right there on that concave side of the pin, give it a little tap. It'll pop right out. Um, this pin's got a notch in it, and uh, the mainspring housing's got a little bump in the bottom of it that holds it in. All the pins are different on the 1911 which is great you can't mix them up so once we've got the mainspring housing pin in out we can drop the mainspring housing that's clear and then I can drop my grip safety out pull this strut up out of the way and sear spring should drop out okay a couple things left and there are two pins right here and these do not need to be punched out. They are loosely held. And they're really, they're just held in by the safety. Safety covers them up, and that's why they don't fall out. Um, we're going to start with the hammer pin, which is this bigger one. If I flip it over, you can see the bumps right here. All I'm going to do is push on that bump. And as I push on it, you're going to see that pin come up and out. Grab it, pull it out. This will release two things. This will take your hammer and strut out. And it will also release one of the Series 80's parts which is the plunger lever. This actually goes up, this little thing goes up and pushes on the plunger which uh, releases the firing pin, disengages the firing pin block. Now that we've got that out, we're going to pull out the sear. So we're going to push on this other little bump and you'll see that pin come up. Pull that out. And you should have three parts dump out here. And this is the trigger bar lever which actually pushes the plunger lever up 
and then we've got the sear right here and the disconnect. Last couple things. Magazine release. Um, what you've got to do to get this magazine release is you're going to turn counterclockwise but at the same time you need to push in on that magazine release button to take pressure off of the little catch that holds it in. And once you get it turned all the way back you'll see it's just sitting in there loose. And just so you can see, this is the little catch that you're turning counterclockwise. And you got to be careful, this can also pop out. Um, you can clean this if you'd like, it's just a little spring, and that little catch. But that's what holds it in. So just be aware of that as you're turning it counterclockwise to release it. You lock it back like that, and then it should slide out. Last thing is the trigger, and it just pops out through the back of the gun just like that and that's it as far as a complete takedown of a series 80 1911 hope you enjoyed the video hope that was helpful if you have any questions uh, feel free to ask